guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog it is wednesday when i'm starting this but i'm going to be vlogging into the weekend and technically if a vlog is around five days that's usually when i title it a week of my life so this might be a week of my life this might just be a random vlog i've been trying to vlog more because i know by the time this is posted it's probably december but i'm actually vlogging the day before thanksgiving right now it's wednesday so we're officially getting into thanksgiving which is so exciting i love thanksgiving we're staying here with my family this year and then we'll be with Aiden's family for Christmas. We don't really have any big Thanksgiving plans or anything. We're just hanging out with my family. I actually tried to get my family to do a turkey trot race this year but they were not very interested so I'm probably just gonna run in the morning by myself because I've been really into running lately but it's about 9 30 right now. I woke up did my workout went for a run did a bit of a leg workout but now I'm here at Target. I have a bunch of random things that I need to get. I wanna make a pumpkin cake to bring over to my sister's tonight because we're gonna hang out at my sister's house and then spend Thanksgiving with my parents at their house. But then there's just a bunch of random stuff we need. So I'll show you guys a random haul. I also wanted to say that I still rent clothes through Newly. And if you guys don't know, Newly is a clothing rental company where you can get, I think like eight pieces a month or six pieces a month. And I've had this puffer for a month. It's from Free People originally. And I think I might actually buy it because you can buy the items if you like them a lot. And I love this jacket. It is so comfortable. <laughs> it's so comfy. I've been wearing it all the time. I just love it, especially after a workout, throwing it on when you have to run an errand. Just like the perfect jacket. It's about 55 degrees. I look like a little baby with my headband, but I just wanted to say that because I think it's really cute. I saw someone had bought it from one of my videos recently. If you're in need of a good puffer, I love this. I'll have it linked down below. I'm gonna go ahead and go in here. I hope you guys are well. I am excited to kick off this vlog that will hopefully be pretty long. Back from Target, I'm gonna do a very random Target haul. I wanted to get some more candy to put outside of our apartment. So we have a little bowl that we keep candy for people. Reese's trees are the best, so I picked up some of those. Parchment paper and foil, laundry detergent, some more bags of candy for outside that I opened because these Santas are really good. They're also Reese's. Pumpkin puree, flour. Oh. <laughs> I thought this was a cute sweater. I'm probably gonna honestly wear it today. And instead of getting this jacket, I decided to get this one. They had so many cute puffers at Target if you want one and they're $30, which is a great deal. I thought this red one was so fun. So instead of buying this one, I think I'm just gonna wear this one because that one was so cute. I love the red. And then some to-go cake pans as well as some cream cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and then probably make this cake to bring. Okay, I'm wearing this super goofy headband right now that Tula sent me, but it's actually so nice because I don't like to blow dry my hair. I'm letting it air dry. But what I'm gonna do now, as you can tell, we washed our slip covers in the washer, but I still feel like they're not super clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually vacuum over them and then put them back on. This is probably gonna take me an hour because it's not fun putting these covers back on. But after Cash has been here for almost close to a year now, He's done a number on our couch and we have two. It's not just him, I'm not gonna blame him. But that's why I love this couch. I always get asked where this couch is from. It's from Weir's Furniture or Where's Furniture, which is only really in Texas. And I don't think they ship, but it's the Carlin sectional if you're in Texas. I love it. Such a good couch. It kind of looks like a cloud couch, but a little bit more stiff, which I like. I think it's a good couch. So that's like my number one question about home stuff, where this couch is from. That is where it's from but hopefully this looks a little bit cleaner i took it before but after washing them i think they don't really look that clean so we'll see how this works i'm also just using this fabric shaver i like to use this if you have like pillings on anything you can even use it on clothes too it's really nice it's from canair i've got it from amazon i think <laughs> It's a little bit later and I successfully put all the slip covers on the couch, but I will say I don't think they cleaned very well. I think I need to get the covers dry clean because it just did not really do anything. They look the exact same. So all that was kind of for nothing, but it's okay. We didn't have a half day today, so we actually finished up watching Parasite. That's what we just finished and it was so good. I was not expecting it 
to be this good. I mean, I know it won a lot of awards, but just a really great movie really had me on the edge of my seat. And obviously the themes in it are just really like thought provoking and it's a really, really good movie though. But now it is about three o'clock and I need to get started on making my cake because I think we're gonna leave here at about 5.30. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that soon. This is the cake that I'm making. It's from Calla's Clean Eats. I really like her Instagram page and she's really sweet. So I'm making her pumpkin cake recipe. I've seen her make this before and I've always wanted to make it. And it seems pretty simple. I tried to make a cake once and it was a huge fail. So I'm hoping this time it goes a little bit better, but. I just pulled the cake out of the oven and it actually looks so good. I'm gonna let this cool and go ahead and make the cream cheese icing. Just finished the cake, it looks so good. I think it turned out great. Obviously I haven't tried it yet, but I'm assuming it tastes great because it looks very beautiful. I got Cash these Thanksgiving bandanas. No, he has his Christmas one on right now. We were just having fun, so he's all hyped up. Look at that bandana. <laughs> You're so good. I also put up here on the shelf, I got a print of the Hark the Herald Angels Sing hymn, which is one of my favorite Christmas hymns. I framed that in this Ikea frame and then just put it up with other stuff. And I think it looks really pretty right here. We are about to head out right now to go see my family at my sister Lindsay's, but I wanted to share that the jacket is so cute. I'm so happy that I bought it. I'm just wearing the sweater underneath, but this color is just so fun. My jeans are from Madewell. These are my favorite jeans. They're like my, I call these my Western jeans because they're kind of flare. They're from Madewell. They're so comfy. They fit great. And then my boots are also from Target, but they're old. So basically my whole outfit's from Target. I'm a big Target fan. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. I know when you guys are watching this, it is well into December, but I know Thanksgiving has passed for most of you guys, but I wanted to say just however cheesy it may be that I am so thankful for you guys. I'm so thankful for everyone who spends time here on my channel and helps support me. And it really does mean so much to me. And I think any day that can be an excuse to just say thank you is a good day to do that. So I'm so thankful for you guys. You guys mean so much to me. Our thanks giving plans today we are just spending time with my family again so we're gonna go over there probably around 11 but i've just been having a chill morning i rarely just wake up and sit on the couch and do nothing for an hour so i've been letting myself do that this morning since it's a holiday and then i'm gonna go get a workout and probably do a run and then get ready to go over there so that's kind of our plan i don't know what we're gonna do over there my sister wants to do like a family football game which is not really my forte but <laughs> we'll see about that i'm about to read my devotional too i just started this i've already read this before but i'm rereading it it's my utmost for his highest i really love this it's very similar to new morning mercies but the author oswald chambers i love this devotional it's just a short devotional also has some bible reading so i'm going to do this workout i've just been ordering some christmas gifts this morning because a lot of stores start their black friday deals early so i've been going on there i just ordered some stuff from madewell getting some stuff for my managers who helped me with YouTube stuff. So I was getting their gifts and just trying to get ahead of it. As you guys know, I've said it multiple times, but I'm trying to be ahead this year. So lighting is a little bit dark, but here is my outfit for today. I'm wearing this dress is rented from Newly, but it's originally from Anthropology. I think it's just the perfect Thanksgiving dress with the plaid. It's nice and loose for eating. I love the cut on the shoulders in this. I just think it's cute. And then my jewelry, my Anna Luisa necklace. These earrings are actually from Jamie's ex-boyfriend that I now wear, which might be weird, but I think they're really cute. And it's actually quite chilly today. There's a lot of wind. And so I think I'm just gonna throw over this Zara sweater that I think is cute in contrast. because It's like a blue color. Let's put on your bandana today. Oh, he's so handsome.
Friday morning after Thanksgiving. I didn't end up vlogging too much yesterday. Obviously it was Thanksgiving, so we were spending time with family, so I wasn't really just on my camera vlogging a lot of stuff, but I did get a couple of clips and it was so much fun. We ate our Thanksgiving meal. We also played basketball, which I'm not very good at, which you can tell by the clips. And it was just fun though. We used to do stuff like that a lot when we were kids. So it was fun just having like a little basketball game. We stayed over there until about 10 o'clock, came back home and then I crashed last night and I slept until 9.30, which I never do. I find that I sleep so much better when I don't have any responsibilities the next day. I don't really have things on my mind, things that I have to do. And so I just sacked out and let myself sleep in. Aiden had an alarm because we were getting some things fixed on our car So he had an appointment this morning at 10 to go fix that So fixing something on our car and then now I also look really not cute right now I just want to acknowledge I am not feeling my best right now. I just woke up I ate so much pie yesterday, which was amazing. Taking off working out this morning because tomorrow we're doing an F45 workout and their Saturday morning ones are an hour long. So I'm letting my body rest because that workout was so hard. I did it last weekend and it was a lot. So I just did about an hour tidy up of our house, did some vacuuming, threw in some laundry. We have so much laundry to do. Packed up my newly order because I need to return that, my rental clothing thing that I use that I love so much. And I wanna make sure I send it in on time so I can replenish everything and get some new finds for the month. I always have newly down below. I think it's the best. It's where I got that dress I was wearing yesterday. It's just so much fun if you're not someone who really wears things over and over and over again but you can buy the clothes if you like them too <laughs> i just really can't with him i really can't you want to be a center of attention all the time but i think now we're going to take cash for a nice long walk go maybe drive somewhere and walk him somewhere fun and then tonight we possibly might meet up with some friends that are in town or we might do something with my family i don't really know honestly what the plans are but i will let you guys know there's just something about the morning times around christmas time <laughs> with the Christmas tree, making a nice cup of coffee with like a peppermint creamer. Having a slow morning is just so special. It's one of those small things that I just appreciate so, so much. I love tidying up our home. I played some Christmas music on our speaker and it was just such a great morning. I also need to get some more shampoo today because I used this extra shampoo I have and it made my hair so greasy and gross. So that needs to get fixed as soon as possible. So I might head out even though it's technically Black Friday. So it might be a little bit too crowded for that, but we'll see. Just went and grabbed breakfast at Ascension Coffee, which is our favorite coffee shop to get breakfast. They have a lot of locations in Dallas. But now we're actually washing our Ruggable rug, which we've never done. I actually did a sponsorship with Ruggable like a month or so ago. Cash actually had an accident on it, which is really random. He hasn't had an accident in months, like since he was actually a really younger puppy. But I think it was because we waited to actually walk him because we went to grab breakfast and then we're gonna go walk him after. Like I took him out this morning, but sometimes he has to go number two multiple times in the morning. <laughs> and so he did it on the rug but i'm so thankful that we have this rug it was our fault we should have like walked in before getting breakfast um, i'm so thankful that we have the ruggable rug because you just pop it in the washer and then dry it so this will be my real test to actually use it in the washer i'll keep my status quo up here won't let anybody come near i'll fix it on my own we just got home from being out and I picked up some things from Sephora, which I don't normally go to Sephora and buy a lot of things at once, but I had run out of a lot of different things. So I went ahead and picked some things up. So I'm gonna do a haul. We also went for a walk at our favorite park and it was so nice out because everyone had started decorating for Christmas. So it was so beautiful. The Sephora things that I got, I forgot it was Black Friday, but they weren't having really any sales. I don't think Sephora besides like their, their member sale or whatever, they don't have a lot. But the first thing is actually for Aiden. He uses this Kiehl's facial cream. It's really nice. So we picked up one of those. I needed a new highlighter. So I got this. Fenty Beauty Cream Highlights in the shade Starstruck. I don't really know much about makeup anymore. I used to be really into makeup when I was in high school, but now I just kind of use all the same products. This one looked like a really pretty color as a highlight. Just like more natural, pretty. I like using a cream highlighter, so I wanted to pick up that. I also ran out of mascara, so I got this Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. I don't normally buy high-end mascara because you run out of it pretty fast, but 
I think this one was like 20 something dollars. This one just looked nice. I like mascaras that have the harder brushes to them. I think that they just work better because my <laughs> eyelashes are pretty sparse. I picked up my favorite shampoo. This is the Olaplex Bond Maintenance Shampoo. I always try to use other shampoos because this is kind of pricey for such a small bottle. I need to get a value size of this because this is such a small bottle, but I really like that shampoo. I actually do think that it just makes your hair really soft. I got this Sephora black eyeliner just from the Sephora collection brand. I needed an eyebrow pencil sharpener, so we picked up that. And then lastly, I try not to use dry shampoo because I do think when you're dealing with your hair shedding more, it will clog the follicles. But every now and then, it is nice having dry shampoo, and I also like to just spray it in my hair to give it texture almost. Sorry, I'm trying to keep cash back, but I love the Living Proof one. I think that this is just such a great dry shampoo. It's super lightweight. I got this at a PR package once, and I just finished mine, so I picked up another one, but I really try not to use dry shampoo because I know it's not the healthiest for your hair. Baby. Oh my goodness. I'm so tired, you good boy. You're my good boy. to get dinner with my family in a little bit but i just went ahead and wrap my sister Lindsay's gift because i love wrapping presents it's like one of my favorite things and so i finally had all of her stuff i got her a madewell tote bag some earrings from madewell some hats because those were things that she wanted to and put it all in the tote and then wrapped it all and this really cute wrapping paper that i got from anthropology i'll show you the other wrapping stuff that i got but I just think it's so cute. These are the wrapping things that I've gotten so far. I got these two wrapping papers. These are both from Etsy. I think that this one is especially just so cute. And then this one is just a really simple kind of plaid. And then this one I got from Anthropology. It has people um, having a snowball fight, which I think is cute. And then we also have these ribbons, which are from, or these aren't really ribbons. They're just gift toppers. I got these from Anthropology. We have some burlap wrap to wrap around it, some ribbon. And then I also have these gift tags. I have a few more gift tags coming as well as more ribbon. It's like a velvet ribbons really pretty and i need to get some more bows as well too but i think that these are just so cute i love wrapping that looks very quirky and everything's different i love printed wrapping paper too i just think it's so cute happy saturday we are going to an f45 workout this morning i'm wearing this top from alame it's just a high neck top these are really affordable if you need any good workout tops i love them and then these are the extra high-waisted leggings from lululemon that are super comfy these are the line ones but yeah, this one's gonna be an hour. It's probably gonna be a little bit tougher. I woke up about an hour ago, so I feel like my face is still setting. Feeling like a little baby right now. I just put on some lotion. I just finished getting ready. I'm just wearing this thrifted jacket that I got from Buffalo Exchange. This top is from Brady Melville from forever ago. Some light wash jeans and my Steve Madden booties. And my hair is wet because I try not to blow dry my hair because one, it's just an easy way to use less heat on your hair, but also because I like how it looks when it dries naturally. It's just really easy to style when I do that, even though it's really crazy right now. My appearance right now is bothering me, as you can probably tell. Our workout was also really hard, so I think I need to rest my arm because I cannot stand right now. I'm gonna go meet up with my friend Melissa today. She is shooting a wedding over here, I believe, and so she asked if I wanted to get lunch with her, so I'm just gonna meet her and have like a quick lunch. I wanna stop by Trader Joe's because I wanna get groceries, but I also wanna get some new greenery. I think that they have a lot of like the Christmas tree look of garland and I don't know what they're called. They're like the fresh sticks of Christmas trees. I don't know what the word is. I'm so tired, guys. That workout really kicked my booty. It was really hard, so I just, words are not coming, but we also need to put our rug back because we cleaned our rug. It's all dry, it's ready to go. So we need to put it back up there. And then also we're meeting up with some other friends that are in town for dinner tonight. So those are my plans for today. I honestly didn't really think we had much today, but now, I feel like there's a lot going on. I need to put away all the laundry too. There's laundry drying. Eden is cleaning our car right now. He just went to go vacuum it somewhere. And then yeah, just gonna have a chill Saturday. I've also been trying to use my big mic when I'm at home because I love the sound quality of it. It's just so nice to listen to, but it's so heavy when I'm walking around. Like here, look how big this thing is. It is just absolutely huge if you can tell. So 
I've been trying to use it though because I do like the sound quality a little bit better. I got lunch with my friend Melissa, which was really fun, but we were literally there for 45 minutes because she had to go pretty quickly, so it didn't get any shots, but it was nice to catch up with her. It is now about three o'clock. I'm about to go to Trader Joe's and pick up a few things. I'm gonna make my favorite baked buffalo chicken egg rolls. They're my absolute favorite. I used to make them all the time a year ago when we first got married. I haven't made them in forever, so I wanna make those. Creamy white lasagna soup. These are both from Half Baked Harvest. Sav, Colin Sav, if you guys saw on YouTube, I saw she had made it on her Instagram story. It looked super yummy. I'm not usually a big soup person, but this one looked good because it was just like really creamy, had a lot of substance. And then also I'm gonna make teriyaki turkey rice bowls because that one just looked easy. So honestly, my list is pretty big because a lot of these recipes take a lot of ingredients, but I'm gonna make those. And then I also stopped by my favorite dog store in Dallas. It's called Uptown Pup. It's in the State Thomas area of Dallas. Super nice small business owners. They're so sweet and they have just such cute stuff and really natural dog treats. So I picked up some stuff for cash and, and also some stuff for some gifts too. So I'll show that when I get home as well. But I'm about to go in here. Doesn't look like it's going to be too crowded. I also want to pick up some like garland Christmas wreath stuff like I had mentioned. So okay, we're just going to do a Trader Joe's haul. I also gave cash his toy. So if you hear the squeaks, that is what it is. This was the greenery I wanted to get. And then I also found one of these cedar balm candles, which smells really nice. I love their candles. They're really great. Cilantro, green onions, hold the cones. Cause these are the best. Some apples, onion, broccoli, limes, mushrooms. This is all for those recipes I mentioned. Pretty much all this stuff. Some raspberries. This pico de gallo I don't normally get, but it looks really good with some tortilla chips. Chives for a recipe, some cold brews, and then also some kombucha. <laughs> you look nice. Blue cheese. Then we also have some meats up here. And then over here, we've been really into sourdough bread lately. So I got this one, which looked good. Some mango slices. I've been making some English muffin sandwiches in the morning. So I just grabbed some of these. I was really craving chocolate when I was in the grocery store. So we got some dark chocolate caramels, dark chocolate covered mini pretzels. I've never had this, but it looks really good. I think it's a holiday edition thing, but it's just a sweet and salty stack mix, chicken broth, peanut butter sandwiches. These are the best crackers ever. They're so good, I love the mix of those. Some bread and butter pickles, some more fire roasted tomato salsa for a recipe, tortilla chips. Just took cash to the park and did not realize that it's like full on raining right now. So this is probably gonna be a quick little play session. I was trying to get him to really get some energy out, but probably won't be out here very long. I came back in from taking cash outside and it is the most cozy night right now. It is gloomy outside. It's actually raining as you guys saw. And so I just lit our candles, Aiden is seeing a friend before we see our other friend. So it's just me right now, but I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I got from the pet store. Cash is over here because he smells some. If you're a pet owner, these are some of my favorite things to get. So at Uptown Pup, they have a lot of raw treats. So these are, I think they're called pig ears. I'd like to get these for Cash. Sorry, I feel like my camera's like going back. I like to get these for him. He really loves these. And I guess it was Small Business Saturday. So it was buy two, get one free, which is really sweet. So I got a free one. I got three of those. Hey, leave it. I got this little guy as a gift for one of our family's puppies. I got these treats. These are from Baki's Bakery. They're peanut butter and bacon. And I believe that they just have peanut butter. Yeah, barley flour, bananas, peanut butter, and bacon. That's it. I try to get ingredients within his treats that are just whole ingredients. The flour is probably not the best, but besides that, I think it's good. And then these are my favorite bully sticks. Bully sticks are a lot better than raw hides for dogs. So I get him this giant pack, which is like $50 for this many, but that comes out to about $10 a stick. And when we go out to eat at a restaurant or he just needs to be entertained, I love bully sticks. I love getting fun dog stuff for him. It's just so fun. It makes me so excited to have kids one day and just to buy them little treats and stuff. I am gonna make him a stocking for Christmas. So I wanted to get some stocking stuff too, but I have no plans for the next two hours, which is really nice. I think I'm just gonna sit here and have a chill couple of hours before we see our friends. I'm gonna let myself chill. I'm gonna hang out and then see your friends later tonight. So our friends we were originally gonna hang out with actually ended up canceling, which is totally fine. They just, I think they're a bit far out because of the rain. They just didn't really wanna drive in it, which is totally okay. 
but we are just gonna go grab dinner with Aiden's friend that he's out with right now. It's just his old college roommate. So I just got changed. We're gonna go to a Mexican food place. It's called Miriam's. One of my favorite restaurants, amazing service, food is great. I just changed into these Zara straight leg jeans. I love these, they're my favorite jeans. I've had this jacket forever. It's from J. Crew. it's just one of their camel coats. My turtleneck is from Petite Studio. I love it, it has like a little cutout on it. I think it's super cute. I feel very New York in this outfit. This is like something I would totally wear in New York. And then my boots are from Steve Madden. They're just the same Steve Madden booties I was wearing before. So they're gonna come pick me up soon. So I'm gonna head out here soon. I'm really excited though. I'm definitely very hungry. <music> Sunday. It is Sunday today. Just got ready for church. I did not sleep well at all last night. I'm so tired. We went out last night with Aiden's friend and then came back to our apartment. I fell asleep on the couch because I was so tired. But every time I drink a margarita, because we went and got Mexican food, I had a frozen margarita. I love margaritas so much. They're so tasty, but they always keep me up. There's something about the sugar in them and the alcohol combination. I just always know it's gonna be a bad night's sleep. And But it was really fun to see him last night. So today, I honestly just have a lot of work to do. It is Sunday, but I just do wanna get a bit ahead, do some editing. I need to do a podcast too. We're gonna go to church this morning first, so I just got ready. And I'm also really frustrated with my skin right now. And I know when your skin is breaking out, you shouldn't cake on makeup, but I just am so insecure about the state of my skin. I have so many, you can't tell as much with my makeup on, but just like these clogged pores right on this area of my cheeks. I think it has to do with something I'm eating. I know that cutting out dairy would probably do wonders for my skin, like cutting out gluten and dairy, my skin would probably be perfect. The kind of person who can do restrictive diets, whether it be for health or for anything, like I've even tried to, cut out more processed carbs and it just doesn't work because whenever I do that, I crave those things more. And so I just do not want to, I have a whole video on body image if you wanna watch that one, but I talk a lot about just not being into those kind of diets, but I also don't wanna to go to the dermatologist and figure it out because if you guys don't know, I went on Accutane when I was in high school. I've just always struggled with skin. I've never had perfect skin. Aiden has perfect skin, never, his skin never breaks out. It's just so funny how different people struggle with it more, but I'm 23 now. And I just wonder, am I just always gonna have skin? That's not great. It's probably the margarita too, but it has been like this for a bit now. It's just so frustrating. I feel like I use pretty quality skincare products. Cash is trying to get his popcorn right now on my desk, his popcorn toy. I see you. But yeah, if you struggle with acne, just know I totally feel you. Accutane did not cure my acne either. I was on it for a year. I don't wanna to go to the dermatologist because I don't wanna be prescribed like medicine. I don't just wanna be given a topical treatment. I think it has to do something with like my hormones, what I'm eating, not getting great sleep. Like he's literally on my desk right now. He's like straight up standing on my desk right now. Cash, what are you doing? What are you doing? But if you guys have any tips, I wash my pillow cover pretty often. I always wash my makeup brushes now. I switch out my sponges pretty often. I even tried to get rid of makeup that I thought was causing it too. And it just keeps happening. It's like these tiny little breakouts that are almost just like clogged pores. But I just always see these people with perfect skin. I'm like, wow. It's like that TikTok that's like, how does it feel to be living my dream because your skin is perfect? Like if I could just wake up with like clear skin, beauty is so much more than your appearance, what you look like. But I can't lie and say that every morning I wake up, I think especially in the winter time when my skin's more pale, my skin, you can see breakouts more. So I notice them more versus in the summertime, you just have a bit of a tan and it does kind of cover them up. But in the winter, like there's no hiding, they're just out and ready to rumble. This is my outfit for church. My sweater is from Target. I love this sweater. It's just really comfy, a pretty camel color. This skirt I got from Thread Up a while ago, but it's originally from Madewell. It's just this really cute sweater skirt, and I like it because it's longer. I think it's great for church. And then my boots are from Naturalizer. I believe they still sell them too. They're a little bit pricey, but I wear these all the time. I think that they're just so cute.
we're back now we ended up getting breakfast too which was really nice and now i just spent some time putting away some laundry but also cleaning out our bathroom because i have quite a few products that i'm getting rid of and i thought i would just do a giveaway in this video if you guys have made it this far you guys will know that i'm gonna give away some of these things actually i'm just gonna give away all of them in one package i probably could do multiple because there is a lot but i just think it'd be fun for someone to win all of these things and so if you'd like to enter all you need to do is leave a comment down below and make sure that you're following me on instagram and then also subscribe to my channel and just leave a comment down below and let me know what you appreciate most about the holiday season and then also include your instagram at handle because i'm going to message the winner on instagram when they win and i'm going to select a winner two weeks from the day that this video goes up and i will just randomly select them and i typically message the winner on instagram and grab your address and send you all these goodies so there's a lot of different things here here i'll show you guys what we have so there are a bunch of different things here i have a lot of tula products a lot of dr zenovia we have some plum beauty another like facial cleanser from plum beauty some derma e it's a lot of skincare stuff some dove stuff cvs live better stuff Copari's in the mix. So there's just a lot, but yeah, it's mostly skincare and body care. We have some Derma E CBD stuff, this retinol night repair treatment. So yeah, if you're interested in winning any of this, feel free to enter the giveaway and I will select a winner in the next two weeks. I ended up taking cash to the dog park. I've been wanting to try out, there's one at Clyde Warren Park, which is a decently far walk from where we are, but I thought it'd be fun to take him there because it had recently opened and it was so much fun. It was so much bigger than the one we have in our apartment and there are so many dogs there and it always makes me happy seeing him just like really active and playing with other dogs. So that was really fun. It's about 3.30 now. <laughs> to make some dinner i'm making the buffalo chicken egg rolls that i talked about earlier which are so good but before that i'm gonna go ahead and just de-seed this pomegranate i've been liking having pomegranate seeds on my yogurt in the morning so i like to do this on sunday just because it kind of takes a lot of effort to de-seed a pomegranate but i'll have the recipe down below for the buffalo chicken egg rolls because they're so good i've made these quite a few times before, but we haven't had them in a while, so. I'm also just gonna put them with a salad as well, because they're pretty heavy just to have alone. It always feels better when you have salad with it too. Turns out that my pomegranate's mostly rotten, so that's not gonna be happening. It's so sad, I hate when that happens. This happened in my last one too, it wasn't this bad though. Probably not gonna use that. Maybe I'll just use these right here. <laughs> our show we're now about to head to bed so i just wanted to end off this vlog and say good night and thank you guys so much for watching i know this was hopefully a long one i feel like it's probably gonna be a long one but you guys mean so much to me i'm so thankful for you for watching and i'm also ready for bed so i will catch you guys in my next video bye friends mm -hmm.